this video I'll be walking you through your account settings. Account settings is where administrators can define certain firm-wide settings. Any changes made here apply to all the firm's timekeepers. To access firm settings, click on Account, Settings and under the General tab. The firm name is a mandatory field. Specify the business name here that you will be wanting to appear on all forms of correspondence with your clients. If you are not related to legal business, you can change the label firm in the next field to your respective business type. Likewise, you can change the term professional to whatever label suits your business needs. The firm URL will appear on invoices if specified here. The Australian business number, if registered with the Australian Business Register online, only then can you enter your Australian business number, also known as ABN. Your date format will reflect the use of dates on invoices, statements and reports. So for example, if you are based in the UK, you can change the date format to show the date first, then the month and the year. The week start date will affect your calendar view. The calendar appears in various areas of the app, including the time entry screen and the company calendar screen. Again, the tax label can be customized to suit your own business needs. So for example, if you use an admin fee instead of tax, you can specify admin fee here. If I click save, you can see that the tax ID field as well has changed to admin fee ID. This field will appear on invoices if you have checkmarked it in your fle flexible billing template. The session timeout duration is the length of time a user can remain logged on to the TimeSolve web app while remaining inactive. TimeSolve will automatically end a timekeeper session once the specified amount of time has elapsed. The format is in hours, so for example if you would like the users to become inactive, after 30 minutes you would enter in 0 0.5. The two-factor authentication. This helps with improved security, increased productivity and flexibility lowered help desk and security management costs, reduces fraud and ability to build secure online relationships. If this is enabled, an administrator user can decide if authentication will be required with every login daily, weekly or monthly. If you enable the access to sign matters only, Button. Enabling this would mean users will only be able to access the matters that have been assigned to them. This is achieved under the Account, Username and Permissions tab. The password expiration is essentially forcing your users to revise their password every X number of days or weeks. The days will be counted from whenever the user last changed their password up until the firm setting specified here. If the password is expiring within the next five days, the user will see a warning message after logging in. Enable your dashboard if you would like to see a graphical representation of hours, amount and billing rate for the whole year. The dashboard is visible to all admin users. It can only be made visible to non-administrative users by accessing the permission tab under account and username. Commissions can be assigned to users. You can either specify fixed commission amounts in the following fields or head under account, username and assign commissions either for specific clients or matters against specific users or just a specific amount for the user in general. Commissions can be tracked under the professional revenue report. The commissions can be reported for each professional, professional manager and each matters prof responsible professional. Thank you for listening.